I'm Anil Kumar sharing with you some application questions on binomial distribution. The question here is 10 balls are drawn successively with replacement from a lot containing 10% red balls. Find the probability that there is at least one red ball. Now you can pause the video, answer the question and then look into my suggestions. Well in this case we need to find probability that there is at least one red ball. So we can define a random variable as x which will denote number of red balls. In how many trials? 10, 10 trials. In 10 trials. Right, so, so we have n equals to 10 in our case. Now it is also giving us as successively with replacement. So with replacement means it's a case of independent experiment and where the probability will remain same since the ball has been replaced and probability should be how much? The lot contains 10% red balls. So, so the probability for the red ball is how much? In our case, we'll treat this as probability of success. Is it okay? So that is the probability of success which normally lowercase p is, is 10%, that is 10 over 100 or 0 0.10. If probability of success is 10%, what is Q, the probability of failure? Will be 1 minus 0 0.10, so that is going to be 90%, is it okay? So that is the value of Q. So we know our parameters. This is definitely a binomial distribution since we have 10, which is limited number of trials, all are Bernoulli's trials, right? Now, so therefore we can find probability that there is at least one red ball. So we want to now find probability of at least one red ball. It means what? It means we want to find probability that this parameter which signify number of red balls is greater than or equal to 1. That is what we want to find. Now greater than 1 means we could do one way probability that there is 1 red ball, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 and 10 kind of like we could add them all or we could also write this as uh, probability that uh, it is uh, no red ball at all. So in terms of that, we can find. So if we do that, we have to do 1 minus. Do you see 1 minus probability when there is no red ball? Is it okay? So it is one and the same thing when there is no red ball. That is x is equal to 0. Right? So that is how we could simplify this. Okay? Now, 1 minus. What is the probability? In general, the formula is, let me write down the formula first in general. So for any small x, the formula will be ncx, where n is number of trials, p the successful to the power of x, and q failures n minus x. So that is the formula for binomial distribution, which we are going to use here. x is 0 for us, n is 10 for us. So, so it is 10c0. P is 0 0.10, so we'll write 0 0.10 to the power of 0 times Q is 0 0.90 to the power of N minus X, which is 10. Is it okay? So that is what we need to calculate. So we can use the calculator and calculate this answer. This is 1, this is 1. So 1 minus 0 0.90 to the power of 10. So that becomes the answer for us, right? You would also write this in fractions, which is not a bad option, which is 9 over 10, right? So you could write 9 over 10 to the power of 10. You could do that also. Anyway, let's use the calculator and write. 1 minus, and we have within brackets, 0 0.9 uh, to the power of 10. Okay, bracket close equal to how much? So we have this number as 0 0.6. 5132, correct? So that is the probability. So in our case, the answer will be, we could write this as 65%, 65.65%. 65 
let's say one person is it okay so that is the answer for the given question i hope the concept is clear thank you and all the best